This is a triangle. It's a fairly simple shape with a lot of power. When people hear words like sine, cosine, and tangent, they're scared away. I want to make sure you're not afraid of triangles. I want to introduce you to trigonometry. Don't get caught up in the words for now. Let's actually look at what these words mean. Trigonometry, or trig for short, works with exactly this type of triangle, a right triangle. A right triangle has one interior angle that measures 90 degrees. A right triangle has two other interior angles, let's call them x and y for simplicity. Since adding up the angles in any triangle gives 180 degrees, and we already have the right angle at 90 degrees, the sum of angle x and y must be 90 degrees. This also means that angle x and angle y are both less than 90 degrees, in other words, acute. The job of trigonometry is simple. It lets us figure out the measurements of angles and the lengths of legs on a right triangle. Let's quickly look at the parts of a right triangle. We know the right angle already. Opposite that is the hypotenuse, always the longest leg of a right triangle. For each of the other two angles, the leg opposite is called the opposite leg, and the closest non-hypotenuse leg is called the adjacent leg. We can use this to our advantage. Making use of the relationship between the angles and legs is how trigonometry works. The way two sides of a right triangle relate to a particular angle is always the same. In more mathematical terms, the ratio of sides relative to an interior angle is constant. Because this ratio never changes, we can always use it to calculate an angle or leg measurement that we do not know. Those words, sine, cosine, and tangent, are just the labels we give to the ratios. Here's an easy way to remember the ratios, so ka toa. And here's what it means. Sine is simply the ratio of opposite and hypotenuse. Cosine is the ratio of adjacent and hypotenuse. And tangent is the ratio of opposite and adjacent. Let's look at an example. The sun is shining on a house. It creates a shadow that's 20 feet long. If the sun is at an angle of 54 degrees, what is the height of the house? Let's remember so ka toa. We know three things already. There is a 90 degree angle, a 54 degree angle, and a 20 foot leg on the right triangle we can create to represent this scenario. To make use of trigonometry, we'll want to use one of the three ratios in such a way that we can plug two known values in and solve for the unknown value. In this case, we want to know the length of one of the legs, so we will need to plug in the length of another leg and an angle. The leg we want to find is opposite the angle we already know. The leg we already know is adjacent to the angle we already know. This means we'll be using a ratio that includes the angle, an opposite leg, and an adjacent leg. The only ratio that has all three is tangent, so let's use that. The tangent of an angle is the length of the opposite leg divided by the length of the adjacent leg. That means the tangent of 54 degrees is equal to unknown divided by 20. If we do some algebra, we can multiply each side of the equation by 20 to isolate the unknown, which gives us 20 times the tangent of 54 degrees, which is equal to unknown. From here, simply put the equation into your calculator using the tan button, and you will find out that the house is 27.5 feet tall.